Hi guys, and this is Javon Smith from the Electrical Engineering Department at the University of the West Indies. This YouTube channel was started due to a group project where we would be trying to teach simulation software to secondary school students so that they could apply it to Cape Physics. So the two types of software we'll be focusing on are Multisim and Logisim. What we want to do here is provide a basic understanding of multi-sim so that you can use the software to verify answers to solutions of the past papers. So I'm going to go ahead and start by showing you how multi-sim is opened. And don't worry too much because I'll post the links in the description so as to where you can get your free trial version of multi-sim so that you could probably use it, fiddle around with it and get accustomed to construct in basic circuits. So let me start off by defining what multi-sim is. Multi-sim is a basic simulation software used to construct circuits in a virtual work area and can be used to simulate and measure the characteristic responses of components in that circuit. So what that means is that instead of having to physically construct circuits and test using actual voltmeters and other devices, you can just build it here simulate and you'll be able to measure the characteristics. So for the first lesson I'd just like to start by showing you simply how to start a new design and build a very simple circuit. So we'll go over here after opening Multisim, we'll go to File, click New, Design. Well this is just, you'll have to do that if you have like, a, like how I have a lot of tabs open, you'll have to click New Design. but if you have just started using multi-sim when you open it, it should have a blank work area. So now we need to place components. So for this first lecture, we'll just go about by placing a resistor, a DC power supply, and probably a voltmeter and an ammeter to measure the characteristics. So we'll go to the place, drop down menu up here, and we will select components. All right, from component, while using multi-sim for your purposes, you'll always need to have the master database selected. No other database, right? So now that the grouping here below defined a bunch of devices, so you have to be careful about which one is selected. For resistors, we'll look in the basic grouping, right? You'll select resistor. When you select resistor, you'll see a lot of values displayed here, right? If you want to choose your own value, you could just click from here. Or you could always just enter a value you want. So let's see, we want a 10 mega ohm resistor, right? Mega. And you know, in basic physics or any real science subject, you know, when you're using a prefix to define quantities, you know, like kilo, milli, mega, you'll always use a letter. So you have um, common K for kilo, capital M for mega. So in this instance, we'll need capital M. So we'll type in 10 capital M, right? So there we have a 10 mega ohm resistor placed on a workspace, right? Now, after you place it, right? After you, play, after you click OK, the ghost image will appear and you'll be able to place it on the workspace by left clicking, right? After you've clicked it and the windows reopens, you can just press close so you don't have to repeat any kind of placement again. Now we want to place a DC power supply. So we go back to place to component. And now we need to go to power supply. So we'll go looking for sources. Sources will contain your ground, your AC power, your DC power, all your signal sources and whatnot. So we'll go to power sources and we'll select DC power. Now, when you select DC power, the ghost image hovers there as usual. But when it drops on the workspace, you'll realize they have an arbitrary, ar arbitrarily assigned value to it. You'll see that the value is 12 volts. Now, previously I showed you how to just use the menu itself to get the value you wanted. But here you could also edit the value on the workspace. So let's change this 12 volts to 6 volts. Just by double clicking, double left clicking on, on the item and just changing the value in the menu. Click OK, and you'll see the value has changed on the work area. Similarly, we can change the value of the resistor now. 
instead of 10 mega we can backspace the m so it'll just be a 10 ohm resistor another interesting thing to note about multi-sim is multi-sim is um, an extremely realistic software so you know it you know in real life it is impossible to obtain resistors that ideally match their value so a 12 ohm resistor being exactly having an exactly a 12 ohm resistance is really impossible so what you'd have for resistors are tolerance values which basically express the inaccuracy of the measurement of the resistance so let's set this tolerance to five percent so therefore the actual value of the resistor it can be up to five percent wrong so five percent off so five percent of 10 ohms will be 0.5 ohms so in other words this resistor value is actually 10 plus or minus 0.5 ohms all right after we now have placed the dc power supply and the resistor on the wake area we can think about inputting the measurement devices so let's think about what we need we want to measure the voltage across this resistor as well as the current being supplied by this voltage source so straight off the bat you know we need two instruments an ammeter and a voltmeter now there are measurement devices in the place component but also here so alongside on the right hand side of the screen you'll see a bunch of icons which translate so which represent measurement devices if you just hover your mouse over them you'll see multimeter function generator watt meter and we all know that a multimeter can be it can be manipulated to measure voltage and current and other values but in this instance we want to get a visual display of it so we'll go to place component and now we'll go to indicators in grouping and we'll select voltmeter we'll select the voltmeter vertical meaning the pins will be at the top and bottom and we'll click ok and we'll place the voltmeter we'll place it right here okay next we'll click on ammeter in the same grouping of indicators and click ammeter underscore eight which stands for ammeter horizontal so we click ok and we'll just place the ammeter here now that we have the instruments that we wanted on the work area we can actually go about by connecting wires so you hover the cursor around the end of the instrument you have placed and you'll see a little dot with a cross left click and just release and you'll see the wire being dragged so you can drag and connect from end to end of components or from component to wire so in other words if i had this component there, i'll show it after let's just make the circuit connection every time you want to turn a corner you can also left click so that it remains where it is and then there you have it now to connect this voltmeter we must connect it in parallel so we will connect it in parallel across the resistor r1 so that we can measure the resistance all right one the final important thing to note in multi-sim is that before you can simulate any kind of circuit you need to have the circuit grounded so we turn to place component ground is actually under sources so we go into power sources and select ground click ok and place the ground in the circuit we close this window and then there we have it we bring the ground connected and now we have a circuit that can actually be simulated using multi-sim my simulation tool by showing up green meaning that i have some other simulation in one of these running so i'll need to check that uh, i just saw it there you go and i can return to my design and click this play button to start simulation when i click play you should see the simulation running and and now the values are read off on the meters so the voltmeter says that six volts is being dissipated across resistor r1 and the ammeter says that the current flowing through the circuit is 0.6 amps so there you have it guys this is just a basic introduction so now you've seen how to construct a simple circuit 
and in our next video we'll be actually tackling a past paper question using multisim thanks for watching